next I'd like to welcome to the stage Nusin Nusari. Nushin is from the ANU College of Engineering and Computer Science, and the title of Nushin's three-minute presentation is Just a Puff of Breath. Last year, a friend of mine passed away from lung cancer. She went through four rounds of chemotherapy, but without success. It was too late for her. If it had been detected at stage one, the chance of survival would have been more than 75%. But at stage four, her chance was only 6%. It's not only my friend. Do you know how many people in Australia died this year from lung cancer? Just lung cancer. 9,000 Australians just in 2015. But what if we could detect the disease at a very early stage when the chance of recovery is much higher? In my PhD, I'm doing this by looking at your breath. It might seem invisible, but your breath tells a story. Your breath is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, and only 1% of other gases. That 1% includes thousands of organic compounds or biomarkers, which can help me to detect the diseases such as diabetes, breast cancer, kidney failure, and lung cancer. But there is one big challenge here, concentration. The biomarkers concentration difference between healthy people and patient is only parts per billion. How small is that? It's like finding one drop of blood in an Olympic swimming pool. Is it really detectable? Yes, dogs and bees have the ability to detect parts per trillions, thousand times less concentrated. Now the question is, how we can make something that is sufficiently sensitive to detect this tiny concentration? The answer involves a fingertip size sensor made by billions of nanoparticles. Each of them have a diameter of a few atoms, thousand times smaller than the tip of your hair. If you blow into my sensor, it can detect any tiny possibility of having a disease in your body. It's 100 times more accurate than what we need. And it's small enough to fit in your phone and help you to check your health every day. My research into creating this technology can empower us with more knowledge about our health, our body, and can help us to save many, many lives in the near future. 